I really kind of want you to use a different picture, though. What? I just don't like that picture of me. Well, fuck, man. I... It's not your fault. I kind of want to send you the... After we're done here, I'll send you the... Yes. Yeah, send me one you want, and I'll try to jerry or get in there to replace it. You want one where you can definitely see my face, right? Yeah, that one. It's all right. I looked around and... No, I'm saying I have a couple that I really like, but you can't see my face really well, so... Yeah. Those wouldn't be as useful for you. I prefer to be able to see at least part of your face. And I got a, uh... You know the the reward thing that pops up in the almost... Uh, in, in the, like, the uh, expanded side uh, square thing? Yep. Uh, I got, like, five of those pop up, and they all said zero with nothing else? Yep. That Yeah, that happens a few times. It actually, that randomly happens because it it's some sort of code thing that gets sent through. You got money, don't worry. Oh, yeah, I, I see got money. I also see that um, I still have the uh, little glitchy glitch. Yeah, I see that, too. Okay, so if this guy leaves, then we'll just back out and see if you can't get rid of that. I don't care. I like it. As long as it doesn't interfere with my gameplay. So oh, it's... he's an infiltrator. He's actually the drill infiltrator. I actually have him. I actually named him Blarg McRunfast. Blarg McRunfast. <laughs> so any viewers out there that are listening, uh, I highly suggest this uh, one drink called the chocolate milk. Did you say called the chocolate milk? Well, it's not called the chocolate milk. It's, it's just called chocolate milk. But it is um, an exquisite drink with uh, for those with great taste. It's... Milk with a chocolatey taste, so it's it's kind of healthy, because you know milk milk's good for you, but it's as well, it's it's also a chocolate taste to it, so it's 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 quite it's quite nice, honestly. I freaking love you, man. Uh, is there a problem with expressing my love for one of the most delicious drinks on the planet? No, and possibly there the galaxy? is absolutely none. It's just that, uh, that is right. Sir? Can I call you sir? Or... Uh, I would hope so. Okay. I mean, I could just call you Gwen because you're my friend, but um, for the uh, purpose of the joke. <sighs> what the hell am I doing with my life? I really don't fucking know. I don't know either. Uh... Okay, so that thing's messed up. Um. So part of the reason he's so nice, this this thing that the other guy was using is so nice, this drill, yeah, assassin. He uh he has a m passive movement speed bonus of twenty percent. It's pretty good. That's, that's pretty fast. It's like he's kind of fast. That's, that's booking it. Um, you should change his colors to blue. No, no. You name him Sanic. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe that is the yeah, right way to go about this. Wow. Why is everyone who we're playing with just out to make me look like a absolute nobody piece of shit? Do you care, though? Because... I do, because I really like this game. <laughs> Alright, let's just go before I fucking have to kick people out for no reason. Give him DOS boot, as it were. Uh, no, that's alright. I'll wait. All right, you should cut the loading screen. Uh, I just prefer it. Okay. All right. So, the other day, I, don't, I, don't think, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, while I was on World of Tanks, I actually saw uh, someone with a gamer tag, Wayne65. Whoa. Spelled my exact, the exact way my name is spelled. And I sent him a message and asked him if his actual name was Gawain. And he never fucking responded because he's a douchebag. But... Ooh, couldn't it have been four more, though? Yeah, I, mean, I know. Let's, really? let's be honest here. I know. It should have been. But he had my name. Like, that's just awesome. That is pretty cool. This is not how Punisher, <laughs> uh, the uh, apparently Bollywood ripoff of 007 got a... Uh, destroyed, and I just saved his life, because a guy just ran up as he got resurrected. Yeah, I, I know. 
I saw it all. <sighs> so I know. The guy who's supposedly basically the best guy on our team he is the one who went. No, no, no. I, wow. My commendations, and then he had like 10,000 commendations, which is over twice what I have. And you know how much I played this game. Well, maybe he <laughs> never took breaks playing. Maybe he just kept playing it. Okay, this guy is garbage. Yeah, or pretty much. Garbage, as it were. Hello, Clutter. Mind if I ambush you? Thanks. Yep, he's pretty much shit. Oh, dude. Uh, let's let's kick him. I didn't bring an umbrella, man. Come on. You always bring an umbrella. You should be careful, though. I mean, the rain could get into your circuits and... You get frying, and then mm. you start. Then you start quoting the uh, Johnny Five uh, short circuit movie, and number five it's, it's, is alive. See, it's fun for a little bit, but then after like an hour of it, it just gets annoying, and then I have to. Yeah, pretty much. Then I have to go over you with uh, a hair dryer, and that takes a few hours, and it's just. I just put me in rice. Put you in rice. Uh, probably because I'm not a damn savage. No, no, no! You never heard that trick. Rice absorbs cell, water? Yeah, if your cell phone ever gets wet, um, dry it off as best you can, take out the battery and the SIM card and stuff, and then put it in a bag with lots and lots of rice. I heard about that. Yeah, I, I figure they do, I mean... It actually does work, from what I understand. Well, yeah, I mean... Oh, it, that's cool! Rice absorbs water, I mean... I did, uh... past couple of weeks, I've had a decent amount of rice, which is pretty tasty. Just plain rice, and uh, I have noticed how it just soaks up all the water like a strange edible sponge. So, the uh, the Geth Juggernaut put up one of those walls, right? Yeah, was and I guess he has the shock damage thing where they take damage as they pass through it. That's neat. Seeker Swarm can't actually get through the wall for some reason. Whatever. He designed the game that they, you know, the Seekers Swarm can't get through that Death Juggernaut's wall, and it takes constant damage as it hits the wall and dies. Huh. You can literally use wall those the, that Death Juggernaut shield wall thing in a enclosed space, in a you know in a corridor type thing, kill off Seeker Swarms and keep them from uh, taking your abilities or huh. you know knocking out your abilities like they do. That's actually really yeah. useful. That would be very useful if I had a Geth Juggernaut. Yeah, you do, don't you? No. I think you do. Because that's one of the ones I want. No, you have the Krogan guy, don't you? I have a couple Krogans. You have the big one with the hammer? I don't know. I'll check after this. Remind me, chat? Not chat. What is this, Twitch? That's one. Uh, comments sections remind me after the match to, uh, search that. <clears throat> uh, I am not doing nearly as well this game. Me neither. Collectors are generally considered the hardest enemy, though. I'm the hardest enemy, if you know that, uh, whatever. Oh my god, this fucking guy's down again! This is, uh, three times, I believe. Uh, yeah, three or four. I'm pretty sick of this guy. I was sick of him the moment I saw him die. I was sick of him the moment I saw his fucking gamer tag. Well, that explains it. He's the Geth. Because, uh, you know, he's walking around in the rain, so he's constantly taking damage. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't work for you. You got the, uh, the plastic seal perk. So. Ah, gotcha. Okay, that's fine. I was about to say, how are you going to explain that? Yeah, I mean, that you got the... sense, actually. Yeah, I mean, you got a plastic seal around you. It, it, it's... my uh, open circuit? Yeah, and your circuits aren't open because they're covered with plastic, sort of. They're kind of, like, wrapped with, like, a like a plastic wrap, and, and mm -hmm. most of your armor has, like, a... Well, most of your armor is metal, so it just kind of, like, washes off. But, mainly, yeah, mainly your... Your circuits are uh, coated and covered with plastic wrap and plastic uh, pieces, so the water kind of just runs away. Although in, uh, in certain positions, in, in certain uh, movements, you can get a little water in there, and then it just, then the whole system just starts to turn uncomfortable. So basically, you're saying I'm a more advanced model? 
Well, not that. It's just you got the, uh, you were able to spend, you took some of the money you got from these and uh, kind of upgraded yourself a little. You got, you got a little, you got upgrades. That's it. So I'm noticing that he actually is doing a halfway decent job when he's alive. When he's alive. I mean, I shouldn't have to qualify with when he's alive, but I do. I shouldn't have to... And... You know, I actually kind of missed the old Scions. They were a lot easier to deal with. Every time you say Scion, I just think of, uh... XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Good game. You might like it. Very strategic. Yeah, I saw it was on sale a while ago. I thought about buying it actually. I have it on Steam if you ever want to try it out. Definitely. Because it is quite a fun game. We gotta give each other our Steam accounts so that we can try out the games. No, no, actually, uh, if Steam comes through with what it's doing, I, I haven't read up on it, so I don't know if they just canceled the project, but they were thinking about making a, a, a sort of a mechanic for Steam where you can, I'm um, coming for you, where you can lend the games to people. Okay, see, that's cool. That would be pretty cool. Give me a sec. It's it's weird because most of what Steam does and Valve does is actually really good. Oh my god. Four times. Uh, I don't even... Four fucking times. Oh, he's just a mempath. Did he really? I think so, yeah. I mean... Ooh. Wow. No one knows next to him when he got up. That or the round ended. But yeah, Steam <clears throat> released the... <coughs> there. Released the cards. And uh, you can get... When you make a badge... Let me explain this for people. When you make a badge, you can... Um, when you craft a badge with a certain amount of cards needed, you can get... You, you always get, pretty much, a uh, coupon. And the cards can be bought and sold as, either as a pack... Come on. Either as a pack or individually for a bit of cash. But a couple cents of that... A couple cents of that dollar of the, that cash gets to Valve, so... They effectively make... They effectively make hundreds of dollars like, hourly through this process. And people spend money and sell cards for money on this. So they get money through uh, the cards. Well, Valve gets quite a bit of money through the cards. It's yeah, but see, they're the ones who are giving out the cards in the first place, so aren't they actually losing money? Oh, it's digital. It's, it's digital. It doesn't matter. And when you use the cards, like, say... The <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's cut that out. When a game has, say, five cards total for a pack, for a, a set, you, you get one of each card, and you use it to make a badge. You get a badge, you get like a little icon, a background, and and, uh, and a coupon for some random game that's probably usually not good. Let me take a drink of water. Uh, anyways, yeah, you do that, and... The, those five cards you use to make the badge, go away. They, they disappear. They get deleted from the system. Right. And how you get... The way to get more cards circulated into the system is to uh, is one of two ways that I that I know of. Is A, you play a new game, and it says... Uh, say the game has like eight cards for a set. You can get up to half of the cards it has. I usually round it up, I believe. So you get four cards by just playing the game, eventually. And... Once you get to a certain level, you can earn. Pa you can just get packs just from being online at least once a week, and those packs can hold up to like three cards, I believe. <coughs> yeah, three cards for uh, for any specific game, and you can sell the pack, you can sell the cards. There's shiny versions of the cards and all that, and it's it's really a fantastic system because this digital. I'm I'm going for. It. This digital item, items, it's circulated, are recreated, and destroyed. <coughs> God damn, what's wrong with me? It's uh, created and destroyed, while people who don't want them or don't need them... <coughs> sorry for the comment. Uh, don't want them or don't need them, can sell them on the market 
for others to buy. So that person gets money, and Valve gets a little bit of the cut. Just a couple cents of the cut. But it really does add up when you sell thousands of cards a day. For like, right, but my get, point is, isn't Valve giving these cards to begin with? Uh, they don't give you them. You earn them through playing the game, and uh, the code is activated in the program where you eventually get a uh, pack of cards every once in a while. It's, it's not often. Right, now, but then the, they're the one... You're, I mean, you're still getting... I get that they're not giving them to you, that you're earning them. You're only getting them by playing the game. You don't actually have to pay to get them, so Valve isn't actually earning any money when... You, you, you only earn up to half of the set for, uh, for one. You can totally... Uh, this uh, you have to do this after a certain level. <clears throat> so say you have hundreds of, uh, hundreds of games, you get all the cards for them, and you trade them to get enough badges to get to level ten, which will allow you to start getting. Actually, no, it's any yeah at like, I think yeah I think level ten you have a twenty percent chance of getting a pack a week. So then, there you go. You still you start have the chance, but it takes a while. It's once a week, by the way, and that's like seventy five cents a week. So it, it adds up after a while, but <clears throat> not so. <clears throat> but it takes a while. So you can just wait for them to come to you. Or you can pump five, ten bucks into your account in your Steam wallet. Preferably the Steam wallet, that way you don't have a bunch of <coughs> transactions on PayPal or whatever. Uh, pump a couple bucks in there. Go and just buy a bunch of badges and you can get up to level five of a badge and you can't go any further than that. Does that answer your question? Or am I still yeah, I think so, but like when I've been playing games I've been earning wait, right, you can only earn up to a certain number of the things, but I've also been earning multiples of the same card. Yes, yes. Uh what it is is it takes the amount of cards that there is for a badge, which say uh, a game has eight, so you can get up to four. You get four cards. It doesn't matter what ones you get. You can get all the same. You can get all different. Uh, hell, some one of them might even be a foil. But you get four cards regardless. And if oh, you get not four different cards. Oh, no, you, okay. you just get four cards that are that they're all part of that set. So yeah, you you can you can totally get four of the same card. Now the whole premise of this is you're supposed to trade between pe pl uh, friends and people on the forums to max out and get a badge. Me personally, I usually just wait until I can get a little bit of money, put five, ten bucks into the account, and buy a bunch of. Cards. That's what I was saying. There's got to be a way to do this where you don't actually spend any money. There is, but it's a, a much longer process. Gotcha. So they're earning money basically by getting people to pay for badges which don't really mean anything to begin with they they somewhat do they they uh, give you experience for a higher level and uh, I'm about to die for fuck's sake so I got three shot uh, the higher your level the more chances um, okay. the higher your level the higher chance you get you have of getting a pack which you can sell straight back to the <clears throat> market if you don't need it or use it or trade it or whatever so you can eventually start earning money back after a while. God damn. Sorry, I'm, I'm listening. <coughs> really? I was trying to take down the guy who was next to you so that you wouldn't get killed, and something snuck up behind me and just... <sighs> That's fine. But uh, as I was saying, yeah. drink after we're done, don't you? I need to like, really do something with my throat after this. I get it. So you get badges. So basically you can... So my thing is, like, what I think I would do is I would take a bunch of the cards from another game, sell them off to then buy cards for one game to earn a badge for that game, and then do that as many times as I could till I, and hope that I got up to level 10 without actually spending any money, and then that, start earning packs per week. Uh, yes, that's, that's typically what I've done, is I try to sell... Or I, I try to uh, try to just focus on one badge at a time, just because I, I like to get that out of the way. And uh, and remember, every badge you craft, you get a coupon for a game. It, it can be a small little game that just bumps up with do bump off dollar. It can be a decently sized game that bumps off fifteen bucks, twenty bucks even. 
but the, the point is that it is usually a pretty big game or not no it's it's a it's a discount every badge you craft you get guaranteed a discount for something else for will some they ever give you a discount for something you already own though uh probably usually the games i get aren't that huge or fantastic just because you they're not going to give you a 50% discount on uh Bioshock Infinite or Cold Yeah, no, Duty. I got that. So I'm just wondering, can you actually use one of those discount coupons during a sale? Uh, no, I believe, because I, I believe the, the fine print and whatnot says that there's only one type of discount thing for that. Like, the sale itself is the one discount. Oh, that's stupid. See, I'm never going to use them then, because I'm... Unless I get one that's really good or for, like, a really cheap yeah. game. Uh, well, uh, let's see here. Like, uh, say you get a, a coupon 50% off for a game that's, like, 10 bucks that you find would find enjoyable. You bump down 5 bucks. That's not bad. Right, yeah. And that would be worth using. But if you don't want the coupon or don't care for it, you can always just go to the forums, make a post, be like, I have a coupon for this. Um... I'm willing to trade this coupon that I don't want for a card or two. And you usually don't get too many cards unless it's for, obviously, the higher price of the game, the more popular it will be and the more... Can you actually it. just straight up sell the coupon? Like, you, you can sell the badges? Sell, you can only trade the coupon. The badges, you can't sell. Yeah. They're, they're stuck to your profile. The cards, you can sell. Or yeah, I'm saying the... Yeah, I meant the cards. I know you can sell the cards. Okay. Why don't we back out of this? You can go get a drink. Yeah, oh, back out, give me a second. <clears throat>